Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Wednesday of the second week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched him closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up before us. Then he said to them, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger, and grieved at their hardness of heart, he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, here in this next section of the Gospel from the one yesterday where Jesus said that the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath, we have another Sabbath issue. This time he's in a synagogue and he is there in that synagogue with his disciples. And there's also a man there in the synagogue who has a withered hand. And so he's crippled. And when Jesus looks around, he notices the fact that everybody is watching him. They are watching him carefully. And he knows that the reason that they are watching him is to see if he would cure the man on the Sabbath. And they weren't watching out of anticipation, eager to see Jesus heal this man with a withered hand, but rather they were there to accuse him if he did. That to heal on the Sabbath was violating that Sabbath law. Again, it's back to that fence law where we are restricted from doing things that are not necessarily wrong. It's just that they are doing it to make sure that the Sabbath is kept holy. It's basically turning everything upside down where man is subservient to the law. And so here's this man with a withered hand. And as Jesus sees all of those people looking at him, he said to the man, come here before us. Now, the man's hand is withered. But you know what? It doesn't stop him from coming up in front of the crowd. So he is asked to do something that he can do. He can get up from where he was, and he can go and stand in front of the Lord. And at that point, with him standing and everybody looking at him, Jesus challenges the crowd and says, Is it lawful to do good? In other words, does the law prohibit good to be done? Which is a rhetorical question. And he goes on, is it, you know, good to save life rather than to destroy it? And again, he's really challenging the crowd. He's challenging especially those who are there that are really bound to the law in such a a strong and and unimaginable way. He's he's really challenging them that, that they've got their whole understanding of the Sabbath mixed up. And so this man is called up, something he could do, and then Jesus looks around at the people, and he's, he's frustrated, he's angry. He is, as, as uh, Mark points out, he's grieved at the hardness of their heart. Can you imagine what that would be like? To just see their hardness. They don't want that man healed because it's the wrong day of the week. So anyway, he has asked that man to do something he can do, but then... He asks the man to do something he can't do, to stretch out his hand. His hand is withered, and so he can't do that. But yet Jesus challenges him, encourages him, invites him, and says, stretch out your hand. So this man has got to, at that point, make a choice. He could say, no, I can't do that. My hand is withered. But instead, He chooses to just allow his will to take over and just as he could move his other hand freely, he had this withered hand, but that hand 
he just looked at it and just said, okay, I'm going to stretch out my hand. And at that moment, his hand was made mobile. He was healed. He was restored. Now, isn't that an amazing thing? No matter what day of the week, but yet we have the Pharisees that were there so upset they left and went out. And here's the interesting thing. They took counsel with the Herodians. Now, the Herodians and the Pharisees don't get along. They are two opposite groups. The Pharisees are the religious legalists and head of the religious Jews. They are the, the, the religious leaders of the Jews. The Herodians are followers of King Herod that was placed there as a client king by the emperor of Rome. And so the Herodians are politically driven, not religiously driven. And these two are always head to head against each other, the religious leaders and the political leaders. But here they find a common enemy, Jesus. So they took counsel together. They unified their forces. They hated Jesus so much that they were willing to put down their own barriers and work together to put him to death. How strange that is for us to see. But how wonderful for us to see that the heart of God is always for the healing of hearts and souls and bodies. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, it's always good to be with you here on Day by Day. And again, uh, tomorrow, the Lord willing, we will be joining together to read and reflect on a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.